Hello and welcome to Radiant Resilience. I'm Tori and I am going to take you in this video through a really effective ballet bar inspired leg and glute burner. So it's not going to take very long, but you will really effectively be toning both of those things, your legs and your glutes. A uh, couple of things you're going to need. You'll want a chair to hold on to, the back of a chair. If you don't, if that, if you don't have something that's real stable, you could also use your kitchen counter or the back of a sofa. Just something that you know you can hang on to just for a little bit of balance and support. And uh, you're also going to want a ball if you have one. So this is just one of those kids balls that you get at the big box stores that is really light and bouncy, except for I've let a little bit of air out of it so it has some squish to it. If you don't happen to have a ball around, you could also take a hand towel and roll it up and put a rubber band around it so it stays in a roll, just so that you have something with a little bit of thickness and a little bit of give. Of course, you can do this without a ball or a towel, but this just makes it a little extra. All right, the other thing you wanna think about is your feet. So as I age, as everybody ages, we have less fat padding on the bottoms of our feet. So if coming up onto the balls of your feet is not comfortable when you're on a hard surface, just make sure you're on something that has a little more softness to it. I've got two yoga mat thicknesses underneath me. You could also do um, something on a carpet as long as you know you're not gonna slip. Okay, as always, keep yourself safe. If something doesn't feel good for you, you're going to skip it or um, change it up so that it does feel good for you. All right, so we are going to get started. And I said, this is going to be quick, but you are going to notice it. So the first thing we're going to do is take our ball or your rolled up towel, if you're using that, and bring it in between your legs just above the knees. And you want your legs to be in close enough that you feel like you're squeezing the ball a little bit, but not so close that you feel like your legs are bowing, okay? And then from there, I want you to focus on what's going on with your core. So as we're doing this, you're gonna be drawing in and up in, at your navel, so in and up. Almost like the same feeling, and this is kind of universal feeling that most people know, is if you're zipping up a tight pair of pants where you have to kind of suck it in. So that's the feeling you want in the front. You also want to feel that you're dropping your tailbone. So you're not tucking your tailbone. I will cue you to tuck in a moment, but neutral is tailbone is long. So you're not rounding through your back. You've just got a neutral long spine navel drawing in and up, and you wanna feel like you're pushing up through the crown of your head, so you're staying really, really tall. Okay, I'm gonna turn kind of a, a little bit of a diagonal, because I think that's a better angle for you to see what's going on, but we're gonna come up onto our toes, as high as you can comfortably go on the toes, and then bend the knees. So it's not like in yoga when you go in a chair pose and you stick your hips back, you're just gonna lower straight down and being up on high on the toes, and then you're gonna squeeze that ball about 50% effort, okay? That's where you wanna pull to draw the navel in and up, keep the tailbone nice and long, shoulders relaxed, up through the top of your head. And now we're gonna squeeze into that ball or towel, whatever you chose, and we're gonna squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that squeeze, lower an inch, lift an inch, down, up. Three, four, five, everything's drawing in up. Six, woo, my legs are shaking. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay in the lower position now is this where I'm gonna have you tuck. So I want you to squeeze your glutes and draw your pubic bone up towards your low ribs and release. Two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight. We've got eight more, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Good. And come up. Oh, set that ball off to the side. Let's shake out the legs. In fact, let's kick our heels to our glutes. So we're going to do that. A same, a similar sequence, but now we're going to be in a slightly turned out position. Okay. So you're going to find a narrow V, not too wide. It's just a little bit with your toes open, heels together. And then we're gonna come up onto the toes. So as you notice, as you come up onto the toes, the heels come apart. So you wanna stay in this position, but just bring the heels together, okay? Sorry, my chair is kind of wobbly because it's half on my mat, half off my mat. Okay, so you're gonna come up here. Same thing, we're gonna lower down. Tailbone long, navel is drawing in and up, shoulders down, lift up tall. Okay, now before we were pulsing in towards the ball, now you're going to pulse knees wider. So you're going to pulse out two, three, four. Squeeze the glutes. Five, four, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that with that knees moving back. And now you're going to lower down and up just about an inch down and up. Three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, and we got eight more here. Eight, seven, six, make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one, stay in the lower position, tuck, squeeze the glutes, pubic bone towards the ribs, release, tuck, release. Three, four, five, six, seven, oh boy, eight. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, come up. Oh, shake out the legs. Let's stretch out our glutes, or stretch out our quads. Bring the knee up. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean knee up. Bring your ankle up. Drop your knee down and lengthen out your tailbone. Okay, switch sides. So hopefully you were really feeling that in the legs, especially, but you also are working, we're working the glutes there. So let's give those a little stretch. We'll come to our chair and cross one ankle over the other. Make sure you're flexing the foot, one ankle over the knee, and then we'll come forward. Good, come up, we'll do the other side. Ankle to knee and hinge forward. So you're keeping your spine straight. You're just hinging at your hips. Ah, good. And come up. Woo! Take a big breath inside out. <sighs> Give yourself a pat on the back. <sighs> and you're done. Let me know. Give yourself a clap. Let me know how this was for you in comments below or if you have any questions or requests for future videos. And make sure you like this if you liked how, how your thighs are feeling afterwards. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.